Hey, what is up, guys? It's Excuse Me, I'm Jack, and welcome back to our Jurassic Park tutorial series. <laughs> so it's been a while. It's been almost a month. It's going to be a, a month and a day since I've uploaded a video for this series. Um, and a lot has happened since then uh, with my channel. I decided to take a break randomly because I felt like my content wasn't good. I felt like I was just kind of like cheesing it a bit. And I kind of was just recording videos and just uploading them randomly. Um, so I decided to take a break and I decided to make a new intro as long as well as making a new schedule. Um, I'm going to be uploading videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday again because I want to put more effort into the videos. And just because doing the whole five days a week thing kind of took a toll on me. Um, but like now I feel kind of better, more aired out. <laughs> so I can actually um, think about what I'm gonna do for content instead of just randomly coming up with five things. Um, but yeah, let's go on a little park tour. Let's go on our little summary, I guess you can call it, of what we've done so far. Episode one, we decided to make our pathway from the helicopter area to the Brachiosaurus enclosure, and we also decided to make our visitor center area with a Velociraptor pin, our park tour entrance with the track and the gate. Episode two, we decided to make the Brachiosaurus enclosure. There are no dinosaurs yet in the park. That's because we're gonna wait until the entire park is finished so we can add the dinosaurs. Um, episode three, we decided to make the park tour layout. So we just basically created the tour track and how it was going to go according to the map and episode four is where we decided to make the dilophosaurus enclosure which is right here uh there's also another dilophosaurus enclosure somewhere else but uh that was introduced in a later video and then episode five we decided to make the operations area which is right here this is not lore related or anything to do with the park itself this is just for our use uh because it's gonna be kind of annoying to export all the dinosaurs out of like one or three hatcheries so i just decided to make a, sh a ton of hatcheries um so we can just make all of our dinosaurs and just not spend two hours filling the park up with dinosaurs because that would be kind of annoying um and then the last episode that we've done was other dinosaur enclosures, which basically was we set up the Gallimimus area right here with our mountain, with our little, not going to lie, bad mountain. It's a very bad mountain. Um, I couldn't really think about doing this park a different way because of how much space we had. Um, and I followed uh, Evo's design because um, that's what you guys wanted. But if I had, if I was using, if I was doing this on the actual like Jurassic World map, the East London Blue 2015 map, I feel like I could have done something better with the mountains. But this is what we get for now. <laughs> uh, we also did the other dinosaur pens here. I think this is the bracket or the Baryonyx enclosure. I want to say. Uh, then we have our T Rex area, which is going to be huge. Then we have our Metricanthosaurus enclosure. And then we have our Triceratops enclosure right here. And we have our other Dilophosaurus enclosure right here. Um, yeah, so let's get into this video. This video will be focused on the Triceratops enclosure, which is going to be right here. And on the Jurassic Park .fandom.com page, um, there's only one picture for the Triceratops paddock as like a whole and um it's not that big it's an enclosure that is kind of fenced off with logs and wires so if i were to show you i have some modded items um i i i don't know why they're still here but that apparently this is this is one of the reasons why i uh <laughs> take forever to make a tutorial video it's because of um, the mods because I would have to record all the tutorial videos on the same day 
or I would have to record all the speed build videos on the same day or in the same like you know few days uh, that's because the mods I had to like reinstall my entire game to get rid of the mods um, I don't lose any of my saves but it's just it's kind of annoying that they're still here um, but yeah anyways the enclosure uses like these types of fences like the log fences with the steel wire um, I'm not gonna use them obviously because this is an unmodded tutorial so um what we're going to be doing is we're just going to leave this open, honestly. Um, yeah, there's nothing much we can do about it. Uh, we could add some trees. But um, if we look on our Triceratops, so let's go to our hatcheries. Okay, we're, we're going to have to plant its food out because um, I actually don't remember. So if we go to view G genome library and if we go to our Triceratops, uh, if we click on the cloud icon, you'll see what it needs. So it wants ground fiber. Okay, so the Triceratops likes ground fiber. So we need to put that in the enclosure that we have. Again, if you don't have this whole area set up, um, go check out my other videos. Um, it'll be there. There's also map download in the first episode with the layout of the fences. If you are using, if you are using the PC version of the game. Um, I don't have anything for console. I, I, I can't really help with console players. I'm sorry about that, but that's just, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't have anything to say about that. I just can't help with that. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So we want to put a majority of the ground fiber here, pretty much all of it, because we don't want them to kind of leave this area too much, or if they are going to leave this area, they're going to come back because this is where their food and water is because everywhere else in this enclosure, they can't really get to you. Or they can't really, they can't really eat or drink water because it's not even in this entire area. Uh, so they should stay near this area um, in particular. Um, they can go in the way of the vehicles, which is kind of eh, um, but we're not gonna put, uh, you know, we're not gonna put one of these fences down because it's not like that in the, picture um okay so um hold up <laughs> this is this is not right this does not feel right uh we're pretty much done <laughs> um hold up there's nothing like too special about the enclosure honestly it's just ground fiber that feels kind of hmm okay I would do the T-Rex enclosure, but I really want to be detailed with that um, video. So that video is going to come out on Friday, and it's going to probably be longer. Um, in the back of the in the back of the Triceratops enclosure, there is a tiny hill. Um, I'm thinking about how I can do that. I can actually do that if I want to. Let's let's try that. So let's extend. I forgot that I have the mods. Um, ignore the mods, but let's just extend the mountain to kind of have a heel. Okay, and then just smooth it out. So what I use is the raised train tool. Go as much as you want. I'm not gonna really give you guys restriction on it. But just make sure it doesn't reach this area of it so that the vehicles are not on the track. Okay, so that it does have that heel behind it. Um. And we do want to actually add some decorations right here. We want to add some palm trees. They're not palm trees, but um, we can use, no, nah, no, we don't want to use those. Like these small trees, not palm trees, but like the smaller trees, types of trees. Uh, so we want to bring this close to the vehicle track. Um, because if you remember from Jurassic Park, they do kind of get out of the vehicle and it's really close to the vegetation. So we can just, you know, do this a bit. Okay. 
I don't want to add... Uh, we can add these fig trees, actually, like, on the corners. But... Okay, add some banana plants. Okay, we just want to randomly add these plants. So I'm just holding down the rotate button and just adding them. Okay. I'm also trying not to put them where the builds are or where the other boxes are because it'll tell us that they are being overridden. I already placed some of those. Okay. We want these ones. Are these the ones I just placed? No, these aren't the ones I just placed. Okay. So we just want to add some vegetation. If this is incorrect, just tell me, guys. Um, but I do feel like it's a bit right. I don't know. Yeah, because there there is some vegetation between here and the thing. Um, another thing. Hold up, tea time. Okay, another thing is that this entire enclosure is kind of down a bit. So we can go down just a little bit and bring the rest of the terrain down. Now don't worry about, worry about the water, the water can stay up there. But as you see in the movie, um, they do kind of go down a hill to get to the enclosure. So we could just make that hill right here. Uh, let's actually go down a little bit more. Right about here. Okay. Cool. Now let's bring that in. Nice. Okay, cool. So the track is a bit up higher, so you can see into the enclosure more. And um, let's add some vegetation. Let's pause it so the vehicles don't get in our way right here. But we could add some more ground fiber. Closer to the track. But there is going to be something we do right here, though. What we're going to do is we're going to add leafy climbers. Because if you can see in the picture, the enclosure along the log fence, there is leafy climbers. So um, let's just add a bit of these. Um, because we want to add some of that like mossy kind of texture or the leafy texture. So we can just add more of it. I'm trying to get some logs in here. Hold up. This might take a bit to um, play around with. Okay, then we can also just put some of these within the enclosure. Just so we have some of that random texturing. Uh, I don't think this affects them like it does in the first game. Like if you feed them the wrong type of plant, they just start dying. Uh, so I don't think it does that, but um, just add a few things. So we have our like, you know, logs and stuff. I wish they added this for the decorations. I don't think they have logs, right? No, they don't. Okay. Uh, we could also add our Triceratops sign. I try to set up something to go right here. Okay. That's not the right button. Okay, so we added our Triceratops sign. So we have our Triceratops enclosure. Um, I pretty much doubled the video of what I did before. Thank God. Um, but yeah, that was a short video. I'm sorry about that, guys. I kind of... These videos are going to be shorter because we have most of our part completed now. Um... But I can't wait to do the cinematic and the um, part tour. Um, I think I'm going to do a first person review of this, of the tour ride, or first person of the entire park itself. Uh, I'm also just going to fill this in, the Velociraptor enclosure, because... Uh... No, actually, let's just leave this, honestly. Um, 
It's been on my mind. I don't know if I want to add the Velociraptors into the park. Because, um, I feel like I don't want to add them to the enclosure. Like, I know that they're in the movies, obviously. But they're in the paddock. And it kind of sucks that you can't put Velociraptors into the paddock. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, actually, no, it doesn't make sense. Um, because this is a decorative item, I guess. But I, in the first game, I don't know. In the first game, you were allowed to put them in there for the DLC missions. But then, like, it, you can't do anything with them with it at all after. It's just decorative piece as well. Um, I don't know. I guess we can add them here. Um, I guess we can do this in the future if it's arrived. I don't know. Um, but I'm just going to fill in most of this with trees. Okay, and I'm going to actually just get rid of the water in this bottom half. Right? Yeah. Because they're going to want to have space to actually walk around. If we need to, we will add an addition to this um but yeah anyways guys that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe and this is our triceratops paddock tricer triceratops paddock <laughs> oh god okay all right guys hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next video